Hello and welcome everyone to Oil Asset of the Day for the 4th of June 2020 presented by myself, Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we head into the OPEC meeting, what do you need to be aware of at the moment? In the latest week, we have seen hedge funds and money managers significantly increase their overall net long positions again. And we've, of course, seen a tremendous run here for oil over the latest month. In fact, in May, oil prices off the lows, they more than tripled in price, providing some absolutely fantastic trading opportunities. We've now seen over the course of this week, 35 US dollars per barrel cleared. So we've broken above and closed above that very key zone of resistance. In fact, oil prices have broken out to 38 US dollars per barrel so far this week. Now, at the moment, we have a preliminary deal on the table, which has been proposed by Saudi Arabia and Russia to cut output for an additional month. But right now, we have countries which have not been so strong on the compliance side, which have not agreed to this yet. And we are awaiting further developments at the moment. We also had the crude oil inventories data as well on Wednesday, where we did see a significant oversupply in diesel inventories. And with that, crude oil prices did come under pressure. They've subsequently pulled back 1%, breaking down to 36 US dollars per barrel. I've discussed this previously with the oil, but you really want to keep a very close eye on key magnetic levels. So now the next key level of support for crude oil is going to be $35 per barrel. If we can maintain this level, hold above $35, again, springboard for another breakout above the swing highs, take out $38. This is where I see oil prices hitting $40 per barrel, filling that gap as well, which was created back in March. Now, if we have a failed move at these levels, and we start to see the price accelerate to the downside, I would look for a break and close below 31 US dollars per barrel to then signify a sell short opportunity. At the moment, crude oil prices are very much range bound currently. You want to take advantage of that range, as I've discussed previously there, where we've talked about you wanted to look for consolidation above $30 per barrel, target the next major level $35 per barrel. If we break and close above 35, we would then look for a move back towards 38 then $40 above that. So I would keep a very close eye over the course of today on the developments regarding OPEC. Bear in mind that we also have the European Central Bank announcement later on today as well. And next Wednesday, we have the FOMC statement. Now, what we've seen in the last week is the US dollar has broken down to two month lows. This will help commodity like oil to accelerate to the upside, oil being priced in US dollars. So I would watch out that if we were to see a breakout on the dollar, either on the European Central Bank announcement or the FOMC statement, this can also provide further support to oil priced in US dollars. The same would be also true for the opposite scenario. If the US dollar was to take out major support, the two month lows, that would provide further support to crude oil as well, either on the Thursday after a European Central Bank announcement or on next Wednesday's FOMC statement. Both of those news items, by the way, provide fantastic catalysts for gold and silver. They tend to really be huge movers. So you want to keep an eye, very close eye on the precious metals today. And of course, the OPEC meeting too. So with that, that's been oil asset of the day. And of course, I wish you good trading.